can I turn this weapon right here into the ultimate safe build with massive damage and infinite stunning power? Watch my decisions carefully and you'll be able to pilot this the same way I did and beat Storm difficulty in Windblown. That's 2BC for all you prisoners out there. And if you enjoy the build, consider subscribing to see more Windblown and other roguelikes. For those of you here for the first time, welcome and v.me. Right now we are neck deep in possibly our new main game, Windblown. Early access. We've been at the game for a hot minute. We're going into a brand new run. We're on stormy difficulty. A couple of things unlocked, including a curse trap and double hit. Double hit. It sounds like something that could actually break the game, but we'll have to see like how this is actually impactful. Because like with bleed and fusion on Qatar, that's a really nice like way to do double hit. I guess the hits come out automatically. It's just eight damage. I'm sure it's designed for like bleeds and. I didn't know that hit behind. Like, I just start over. <laughs> I'm already half HP. That's the real five things I wish I knew. When do I just cancel? I don't really like Charge Blade, but it is actually doing something. That wasn't awful. This would be a good setup for Kunai if we find one. Oh my god. Get off my screen. Um, I did get some currency, but I don't know if I got all the drops. That's my one issue with using this weapon. So we've been having a lot of fun in Windblown, just to say that. 2BC has been the longest that I spent trying to get through this. But I'm sure once we get it, it'll be so satisfying. It's not always about the destination, sometimes it's a journey. Wow, that goes so far. What? Holy crap. You started doing Spotify already? Some people don't listen to music in any game. I can't do that. That's like negative immersion for me. There it is. Like even League of Legends, I don't play music in League of Legends. That's anti-synergy with my gameplay. Get out of here. So tired of getting hit by freaking spiders. I'm gonna say, is that doing something? We're freaking dead. Like, watch this be triple giant spider. Uh, still pretty bad. Just to say that. It goes all the way. Oh, crap. Get off my screen. Rewards? <laughs> Rewards mod check? Uh-oh. That's the five things I wish I knew. Don't knock the monsters off the platform. Surprised they gave me that. Nice. I needed that so badly. Uh, you play fast music with Soul Calibur 2? StarCraft? My viewers play StarCraft? Would you all watch me play Civilization 7 when that comes out? Same idea, right? Ooh, size kunai. That's strange. What in the world does size kunai do? I mean, I, I see it is quite big, but I don't think that does anything. Oh, wow, explosion. No, I don't think that does anything. Oh, wow, that's so cool. I'll take the heals. Uh, is Civ a round base or RTS? So I believe it's round base. Um, when you play against other people, everyone has like, say, one minute to do everything they can. I never thought I'd like Civilization, but I played it with Wholesome Verse. And then I was like, wow, this is incredible. And I got hooked. And I was playing it offline by myself. And I started going to YouTube videos to figure out how to get better. That's how you know you're really in deep. When you're watching YouTube vids. See if I can proc it again. Looks like the answer is no. 
final curse duration up final curse triggered gain an opportunity to stun the enemy that one's kind of hard to use i probably should have done final curse duration goose eyes bleed on hit ninja stars that's exciting may as well right the last run we ended with like two thousand dollars does 2bc lose the fountains um yes but every other fountain gives you an apple so it's a 40 percent instead of 100 percent okay so i guess always l2 before you do the lock on the pop <laughs> so you all are probably not going to be able to tell what's going on but i have an l2 button now that automatically stuns <laughs> yeah, V, I saw you get stunned too. I mean, it doesn't automatically stun. I have to do it myself. Oh, we haven't used our freaking... Uh, ninja stars at all. Close. <laughs> Perma stun. Hmm. I like the idea. Why am I only getting one stack? Double hit doesn't double the number of stacks you have. So we're running double hit. Weapon hits are replicated, dealing 5% of original damage. I wonder what the point of this is. You would think this is the weapon to use it for, right? Because you would get double stacks of curse, but it's not doing it. So I would say if I were playing the game, I would definitely expect double hit to give me double stacks. Wow, that was duration up. Um, let's assume we don't need a weapon because our weapon, the kunai is fine as is. drag them into it uh it wore off if that somehow doesn't work on the final boss i'm a snap i guess double hit with bleed should cause two instances of bleed not like bleed stack but how bleed works is that when you do damage they take a bleed hit so with one stack of bleed they take one damage if i hit them one time with double hit it should take two damage. That's what I'm expecting. Bruh. Okay, it does work. I see two red numbers. How y'all feel about that? Because remember, I have not beaten the game at all today. I would say that's not strong. Something will humble us very quickly. And we will understand why that's not very strong. Bosses can't be infinitely stunned. They do have diminishing returns. And then they start resisting. So we can't 100% rely on that. I keep pressing wrong buttons. That's how you know it builds complicated when you're pressing the wrong buttons to perform it. Holy V, the beard seek. Uh, auto bleed. That's actually pretty legit for us. All right, here we go. This is the first instance that might not work. It's range. Everything melts when V does it. I melt when I try. <laughs> well, let's see here. Okay, now it's resisting. And walked out.
<laughs> Get away from me. Stop resisting. Oh, wait. There we go. Beautiful. Limpia. I think I could have died just then. important L2, the one to win. Oh, man. I, I have the damage for this. All right, chat the build all of a sudden didn't do what it was supposed to do. Uh, bleed applications up. Probably have to do this. Yeah, someone asked, are all the health fountains gone? I get this thing. Every other health fountain. It's not great, but so all we got new curse trap refills faster crits extend the duration by 0.5 however my current curse trap has 40 percent duration um so i'm not a math major it doesn't even say how long it lasts with this every two <laughs> every two l2s i get one second and it refills faster so like by default it's not gonna look faster I mean, it's longer. I have to do combat. All right, chat. We're so locked in right now. I have never been more locked in than I am right now. Uh, you only ever got the head one time that was with Heavy Blade. It can be gooed and frozen and everything else. So my infinity stun setup did not work. Attack speed up, weapon and trinkets down. Left hand up, right hand down. I don't have a slot for this. So last time I had six gift slots and I still died. Uh, I don't think I need to do this, but maybe we can get boost from it. That lasted a long time. Are you all in agreement with that? Dare I say longer than 0 0.5 seconds was applying to it. Huh. That's fair and ethical gameplay, considering how much we've been dying. You know what? I'm in major agreement with that. I've never been in more agreement probably a throw to take this hear me out we're only gonna parry range attacks because those seem to be a lot easier attack speed size hang on we gotta see this i know we're not keeping it but this has to be shown oh my god we can't just Pray that triple affixes show up at some point and has size on it. Size and a uh, crit reset. Secret? Oh my god, this is a secret.
fair fair and ethical gameplay now this this is a problem it's not exactly the kind of fights that i'm good at i guess this is where the ninja star would have been good it's like i said i don't think you can parry the lasers not awful this is what kind of things you have to think about double secret when you're playing windblown that's why when people were saying the game's too straightforward, I assume they didn't get to this kind of stuff. That means we need trinkets, right? Ooh, farmer? <laughs> I don't think they got to that kind of stuff, just to say that. That's not me being toxic. All I'm saying is that you gotta like get a few hours in before you see stuff like that start to happen. The only thing I'll say is I'm going to break my controller doing this. I feel like there should be a solution to that kind of gameplay. Woo. Parry damage. Don't say I've never parried in this game. <laughs> they don't call me the parry god for nothing. The one time I ever do it. Wait, that thing's still active? Oh, is it because I'm getting multiple crits? That's so fair. I've never seen more fair and legitimate gameplay until just now. Remember, this does nothing for the boss at all. If anything, I'm gonna actually have a harder time with bosses because I don't know how to play the game using this build. I've regressed. Gift slots. Holy, the devs, they're watching the stream. They want us to win this time. Otherwise, I can't imagine that would have showed up. That thing walked towards me. That's messed up. Um, I don't know what gift we're, like, looking for exactly. Oh, I looked at my chat because I thought this thing was going to be dead. What in the world? Is that really the first beaver we've seen? No, the squirrel. That's the first squirrel? No, we fought squirrels before with this build. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, I see the problem. It's like, as soon as I do the L2 to do the execute, I actually let them free. They're no longer stunned. That's bad. We don't want that. Devs, give me a way to deactivate execute. I know you have never even considered that that was something someone would want. I think I found the one instance you don't want execute. Yeah, that's required gameplay. I'm sorry. Sorry, not sorry, actually. Oh my god! That was what the shield was supposed to be for, anyway. Oh, that was do it without taking damage? That sucks. I got shot. All right, so this thing cannot be perma-stunned. Kind of toxic, actually. Can I parry these? No way, man. You can parry that. Oh, that cost me a health pot for that really unfortunate hit. Uh, we probably don't need this. Like, I get it. It helps us get back to our um, stun machine. Unfortunately, if I do the reroll, I'm going to have not enough money for the shop. I guess it's this for now. Where the scenario is, once I break it, we replace it. All right, chat, we're still locked in. More locked than ever. Using Trinket does damage. This is actually legit. Because now the little uh, Scarecrow will have like damage underneath it. Okay. You know what? Never doubted in my life. 
I really like the hot springs. I hope they find a way to incorporate them later into gameplay. So you mean you'd like to have the hot springs, but still have difficulty somehow. Could maybe like sell your gifts? Like maybe a full reroll or something? Uh, Inkbound ran into that issue where they gave the player lots of chances to reroll, but more often than not, they actually don't do the rerolls at all. I was gonna say, am I leaving my own curse field? But no, I'm not. Even if it's just a visual thing, like in multiplayer, we just hang out inside of the, uh, inside the spa. Yeah, I guess that's fine. Then like thematically, we have to figure out, all right, how do we go for something that looks like you should be healing in it, and now you're no longer healing in it. It's like, oh, the, the good spa is gone. Now we're in the like 2.5 star Yelp review one. Or they're over there like cracking necks. Like those TikTok channels. Uh, I don't do damage to this. Why don't I do damage? That's my entire build. I spent everything I had just now. This thing must have resistance. We need sticky, uh, death orb. We're so freaking dead on the final boss. Ain't no way we're gonna win. If the boss is gonna be this thick, it's way past over. That's not half bad. We need this. Is that better than destructive? 60 DPS for six seconds. Compared to 40% all damage. I, I guess technically by the time we get to the final boss, Curse stuns the actual odd one out. And the bleed is actually doing damage. And double hits doubling the bleed damage. I guess this one's like the only odd denominator, but still not bad. Attack speed up, duplicate to nearby target. Yeah, the size is probably not doing much. And I'll take the attack speed. Yeah, we like doubled our DPS off that. Not counting the attack speed. Yeah, so the bleed proc is 83 damage and it's doubled, which I think is pretty impactful. Burn aura, critical hits also extend the duration. <laughs> Curses from charge blade, that's so funny. All right, fake dot build. Ah, I see. V the build. Seek. Just wait until you get to the final boss. You ain't seen nothing yet. Huh, I wasn't stunning all of a sudden. Making the game look easy? I'm gonna die on the final boss. That is not a question. We have already confirmed it. How are we still finding new secrets I've never seen? What is this? This looks like an MMO map. This looks like Binding of Bahamut, turn three. Maybe it's turn three. The one where it's like just a dungeon. Uh, Ninja Stars, critical damage, don't care. I know we aren't using the shield either, but I think the odds of us getting a shield proc off is a little bit higher, even if we just block. What a weird arena. I just got an item for free. What do y'all think about that? Reportable? <laughs> v, don't you dare report that. I need as much free stuff as I can. Hey, I... That, that's why I'm asking. Don't take damage. Is it just this? Wow. Crystallized health flask necromancy. I'm going to do one reroll because I don't think there's a shop. We have to. Fifty percent damage at max stacks. Perhaps that's better than boss killer, but boss killer affects our entire kit. I'm a little worried about this. 
Because obviously the boss won't stay stunned. I think I have to get rid of Curse Stun. I know that's literally the build thus far, but it will not work on the final boss. Damage, however, will. That is required gameplay. <laughs> I'm so scared. I don't even want to fight anymore. We're gonna freaking die to whatever's in here. At least I don't have to worry about the L2 button. Okay, it's changed a little bit. I think it's still good. I'll not lie, it's not exactly how it ran previously. It's not bricked, though. I'll tell you when the build's bricked. It ain't. So I've had people mention that the game is dodge-heavy, and I don't really agree with that. I think this is the first build I have ever had that I would say is legitimate dodge-dodge revolution. That's not the game's fault. I have built it that way. New curse trap where every hit refills it. Actually, that's not that bad, that good at all, right? We couldn't afford it, I think. We're at the end. Four health pots. Huh, I still can't tell you who's harder between Red Hulk and Green Hulk. I feel like in this build specifically, you do Red Hulk. Because it's like a ranged fight. So it'll be range versus range. Red's harder for sure. Well, we can all agree, blue first. Oh, wow, wait. That's real and legitimate damage. Should I not even be doing the, the square thing? The crit? I should just spam. <laughs> Interesting. Three eighty compared to like all the bleed. My bad. Okay, that was me blocking. This thing cost me two health pods. Yeah, that sucks. Holy. <laughs> Tactics build confirmed. So the current issue is I don't stun them. However, this fight should be easier because this thing stays in place for longer. Obviously, Green Hulk goes all over the screen. He can't be controlled. He's unstoppable. This thing, however, is a bit more stable. Kind of greet it a little bit, just to get on the back end. Do you all think the crit stronger? I legit can't tell. My god, I took too much damage just then. This is where the ninja stars would have been nice.
Whoa, 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 whoa. That's me pressing start by mistake. Oh. oh, the build it seek, be the build seek. Okay, so obviously it doesn't work on the main boss. I would dare say by the time you get to the boss, perhaps the curse trap has to go. Like this thing works all the way up until the final boss. Um, unless you had like some other curse trap that does something cool. This was probably pretty impactful. Um, this probably could have been Death Orb. Death Orb probably would have worked very well. Oh my god. Finally, 2BC. The hardest difficulty in the whole game. Defeated. We now unlock. And remember, this is all work in progress as the game clearly says. We want you to have difficulty. However, we're not even sure this is how it's going to be. But at least, like, we'll give you a little bit of something. Just a little bit. And it's enough for me. Wow, that was cool. That was very cool. Yo, we're dog approved. We got all the stuff. All right, so cloudy to stormy. Tempestuous? Isn't that, like, <laughs> what you call, like, a succubi tempestuous? What does that mean? Uh, enemy health doubled, 75% damage, cogs 50%, gear plus, elite powers plus. That is horrifying. If you get double pizza cutter with laser lines, you auto lose. Or even like double spider with lava floor, you auto lose. Huh. I am highly impressed, but we're not even done yet. We gotta get into the 3 BC territory. I don't even know if other streamers are in 3BC. For all I know, I shouldn't even be doing 3BC. V, you should be farming the first difficulty and getting YouTube videos out of it. But you all know me, I wanna climb. All right, thank you for watching today's video. I hope you all enjoyed it. I'd like to get you all the best content that I can. If you wanna take a moment, like the video, subscribe if you want to see more, ring the bell notifications so you can get those. You could also consider supporting the channel by becoming a channel member. All of those are links which are in the description. Just scroll down and you'll see them. Either way, thanks for joining in and I'll catch you on the next video.